I still remember the one where a guy proposed to his girlfriend. Um, and that was so cute, but all I was thinking was <laughs> Snap is a like it's a it's a it's a heartbreak story. It's a it's a sad <laughs> song. Like, why would you choose that song? But that was super sweet. I mean, that means that people connect to it in different ways. All right, today's best mix, Star 89.9. It's Kevin Begley, and we are joined by a very special guest today. Rosa Lynn. Rosa, how are you doing? Hello. I'm um, doing great. I just woke up um, to do my interviews. I'm feeling awesome. I have my coffee with me. Um, all I need to start my day. It's always a good thing. <laughs> and um, we're loving Snap on Star. You know, the song, it's just, it, it's such a special song. It's an amazing song, and our listeners I've been talking about it so much. So can you give us a little bit of the backstory um, from writing it? Thank you. It makes me happy to hear it. Um, I wrote it when I was 18, uh, when I got back from being ex an exchange student in the United States. <laughs> and I was going through a lot of changes. I was heartbroken, you know, all that. And uh, it was a very hard time for me. Um, that's when the idea of snap, like snapping and almost like giving up um, came to me. And that's how I wrote it. And then we kind of polished it and finished it um, uh, later, much later for Eurovision um, with producers and songwriters. So um, that that's the story of it, you know. <laughs> nice. And, uh, and you're originally from Armenia. Where did you do your abroad? Where did you study abroad over here when you did that in the U.S.? Um, I am from Armenia. I uh, I was a senior in high school in um, Wisconsin. Uh, oh, okay, somewhere near Madison. Um, so yeah, I, I I was a student for one year. I had some fun. Um, nice. You know, went back home. <laughs> and then um, I saw a few months ago you experienced New York City for the first time, which oh. uh, yeah, which we're really close to here in Connecticut. We're about two hours away. Um, so, you know, we, we sort of know of it around here, but what was your first impression when you first, uh, when you first got there? I absolutely love New York. Um, I, I, I went to New York, um, from Los Angeles and I'm not mm -hmm. a fan of LA. Everyone knows it. Um, <laughs> from what I, um, you know, love at, for a city and, it, you know, the mood and the vibe, but New York, uh, was amazing. It was kind of like, not really like in Europe, not really like anywhere else I've been in the U.S. So it's kind of like very interesting and very uh, inspiring. Yeah, it's a really neat place. It's it, yeah. it's 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 interesting to have someone experience it for the first time because we're so close to it. But uh, that's awesome. I love that you did that. Um, and after you did Eurovision, you sort of your TikTok and social media following with Snap started to really sort of snowball. It started to blow up. So what was that experience like just seeing it happen so so quickly? I mean, um, I did not expect it to happen. No one, no one really, you can never know uh, if you're going to go viral and with what song are you going to go viral. And uh, we were working so hard. Um, you know, Eurovision was over and I was the 20th and I was like disappointed and kind of like started um, doing what I did before Eurovision, just like, you know, writing songs and seeing what, what where the life would leave me and what opportunities would I get. Um, and then suddenly, you know, around June 22nd, everything just started to have um, like a new life uh, and the song just went everywhere. And, uh, you know, all of a sudden uh, we got platinums and like golds in different um, countries. That was that was amazing. I mean, and, and then I signed the contract and, you know, that that, that was uh, that was awesome. That's great. Is there any videos on TikTok where people using the song that really stand out to you? It must be you must be see a ton of them. Um, I still remember the one where a guy proposed to his girlfriend. Um, and that was so cute, but all I was thinking was <laughs> Snap is a like it's a it's a it's a heartbreak story. It's a it's a sad <laughs> song. Like, why would you choose that song? But that was super sweet. I mean, that means that people connect to it in different ways. Um, and that's the beauty of Snap. I mean, it's um, it's very relatable in different ways. Yeah, it's so interesting with music, how it, how it, for people's lives, you know, they interpret it a different way or they really like it for that special moment in their life. And as an artist, it must just feel so good to have something you created be part of people's lives like that. 
Well, I, I love that. I love um, seeing how people react to my songs, even if when I like show my demos to my makeup artists or, you know, stylists and, you know, I, I kind of like low key trying, I'm trying the songs, seeing like what yeah. works. And it's just fun to see the reactions and, you know. Yeah. And, and you've got a, you, you obviously had a big year last year, probably one of the biggest of your life. And now you have an even bigger one this year. You're opening for Ed Sheeran. Congrats on the Ed Sheeran tour. Thank you so much. I'm very excited. Um, you're absolutely correct. 2022 was, you know, a year for me. And um, I'm very happy that 2023 is actually going to be bigger. And um, I can't imagine where it's going to, you know, leave me. <laughs> uh I loved the tweet you you wrote about from covering Ed's songs to opening for his yeah. tour because I, I, I think it inspires so many kids or artists or people who are trying to do the same thing that you're doing in the future. You know, I was very, I'm, you know, I, I'm I'm very I'm inspired by Ed. I'm inspired by lots of uh, artists that, uh, like I saw Jack White the other day, or um, mm. with Matt Bellamy the other day. I that you know I I meet the oldest people and I tell them that you know you guys inspired me and. Um, it feels so great to see the messages from like kids who play guitars or, you know, whatever. I, of course, I'm not comparing myself to these legends, yeah. but it, it, it feels so good to see that I can do something like that for others um, who want to start doing something in music or not only. Um, I don't, I don't know. That, 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 feel, that, that feels awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Well, congrats on all the success of Snap. And, you know, here's to a, a huge 2023 for you. I think you're on your way. So thank you for putting out the song. We love it here. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. My snap.